I think the first time I did this, I tried to use Desmos and it just turned into a giant mess. So uh, we're not going to do that. Basically, this gets into one of those things that happens on lots of SAT questions. We're supposed to look at it and just kind of know what the topic is. So just based on the look of this thing, I know that the topic is quadratic formula. The, the you know full quadratic formula we learned in school, we were forced to memorize maybe with a song or something. And um, that's because we have a quadratic equation with a squared. And they're asking kind of for one of the solutions, but they're doing it in this weird way. So here's basically what I would do is I would just write out the full formula on my scratch paper because even though I know it by heart, uh, I still, you know, accidentally forget a negative or something. So seeing all those negatives there helps me make sure everything stays organized. So now we just plug in, right? We have A being 2, B being negative 8, and C being negative 7. This is basic quadratic formula. We're just getting those numbers from there. It's in standard form. So we have negative, negative 8 plus or minus the square root of negative eight squared minus four times two times negative seven. Look at all my parentheses and my negatives. I'm not gonna lose track of anything. Times two times two, okay. So the two negatives cancel out in front of the eights, that's an eight plus or minus the square root of something over four. So the something is all I care about, right? And no, but I did all the other steps because there are cases where I could get a solution and things will reduce out. So it's possible that the eight and the four wouldn't have been the, the real numbers that I was putting in and they were reduced versions. And I, and I could have thought about that ahead of time, but you know, why bother? You know, if you know quadratic formula, you're good to go. So this is gonna be 64 minus or plus now, because we have two negatives. So eight times seven is 56. So uh, I'm just focused on the 64 plus the 56 at this point, which I believe is 120. And yes, it is. And so that is the value of the K, the one piece that's under the radical. So this is a an unsimplified version of this solution. I do believe that we could pull numbers out of that 120 and out of that radical and reduce this thing further, but just out of the kindness of the SAT's heart, they didn't do it. Um, I don't know why, but there you go. Um, there are ways to do this with Desmos. It is just a mess, so I'm not gonna bother with it. But basically, since this is a solution, you can plug it in and, um, and, and see it. And uh, it'll basically, this 2x squared minus 8x minus 7 will solve itself and give you vertical lines. Or if you drop the 0, it'll give you the x-intercepts. And this 8 minus radical k over 4 represents one of those intercepts. Um, and you have to work it back. You have to find that value of k. And so there's radicals involved. It's going to get messy. So that's why I don't recommend that. But also, you should know quadratic formula. That's kind of like the last thing that most people need to learn and memorize in math for the SAT there's not really much more that's advanced than that. Maybe you want to count like statistics, like standard deviation, but I don't even know if that's more advanced. But in terms of algebra, quadratic formula is like the height of it. So you should have learned that at some point in school. Memorize it. It does not come up often, but if it does come up, that, you know, you really need to know the formula. And I do think you should do what I did and write it out on your page. See it before you start thinking about it. So that way you don't make any careless mistakes because one lost negative and that's it, game over.